I thought it was you. You're only just in time, for the dungeon has begun to stir, somewhat uncomfortably. And I think the time for adventure is almost upon us. I suppose you want to know what happens next. <laughs> well, I can't look into the future. I'm not even sure Merlin can do that. But I can look into the past. And so can you. Watch now and salute the men of Kent. Through dungeons deep their quest is bent. For Simon, Leo, Matthew, James are going where no one has braved. In level two, they've had some fun. And here the trains will always run to level three, if you've the ticket to get you past a dungeon picket. But here, before the gargoyles face, they earn no clue to where is placed the extra magic they may need to reach their quest and thus succeed. So have they blundered? Will they win? Time out has gone, so let's begin. It really is pathetic to look upon the pitiful strugglings of ordinary mortals. Look upon Modred Intruder. Take off the helmet. No! Look upon Modred and Quay. Silence, you cleaner of cells. If you send your charges this deep, then you cannot expect my mercy. Listen, Leo. None of these objects is of use to you. Only my gift can bring you to your goal. The name of the spell I gift you is glory. Use it and be a winner. Spurn my gift and you fail like hundreds before you. <laughs> okay, has he gone? Yeah. yeah. What shall I take? Uh, what is it again? There's a shield. Yeah. And a bottle with the word stardust on it, and there's a dagger. Stardust and the shield. Yeah, take the stardust and the shield. Yeah. Okay. Just close down. Ah, this spell damage. S, S O R W D. A sword came off. Yeah. Easy. Okay. What's your, what do you reckon? That door? Oh, uh, go up the stairs. Did, which yeah. door did the sword come off? A life force warning. Quick, Spellcasting, E-N-E-R-G-Y. The steps, should we take the steps? All right, you yeah. can, if, okay, Leo. And the only way is downward, team, there's no going back. All right, Leo, Back side step to your right. Are we going to the doors, no. then? Yeah, we're going to the doors. Okay. Go forwards. forwards. The right one? Yep. Okay, keep on going, Leo. Where am I? Right, Leo. You're standing on a checkered floor, and in the middle of the room, there's a great big hole yeah. in the floor. And then there's two doors in front of you, and one to the left. Oh, and one to the right as well. Yeah. And there's some light shining in. <laughs> come, my old friend, come forth. Look who's come to supper. <laughs> Right. Do you reckon we should go? Which way? Okay, Leo, there's a cobra in front of you now. Coming out the hole. Yeah. Right. Go to the left. Right. So I hold the shield up. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay, side step to your left. Go to the right. Oh, yeah, right. Side. Do you reckon? Yeah, because he's got the no. shield. You've no time for side indecision, Dean. Side step to the left. Forward. Stop. Side step to the left again. Okay, forward. Left again. Yeah, so, left, side step to the left again, forward, and side step to the left. Where am I? Right, you're standing at the beginning of the room, and then either side of you, yeah. a bit further forward, are two sort of lynxes with um, hearts around them, which lynxes. are flashing. Yeah, yeah. cats. Yeah. Cats. Yeah, and then there's a hole in the, in the floor where, where they're firing sort of lasers. Yeah. And then, past that, there seems to be sort of a candlestick. Chalice. At the bottom chalice. of the chalice. OK. And walk then the door. OK. All right. Walk. Is it a timing exercise? Yep. Yeah. Watch my yeah. feet. Yeah, it's going to be... There's a hole. The hole in the floor is covered every so often. OK. OK, walk forwards. Yeah, walk forwards, Leah. Till I say stop. OK, slow down. 
more. Bit more. Bit more. Stop. Couldn't you put the above him to stop no. him from being here? Yeah. 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 Put the shield above you, Leo. Over your head. What, like that? Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. OK. Yeah. Do you reckon he can jump that? No, thing? no. We need to wait until that floor is over. What have we got? OK. When... Do you know, I think that's just the laser gun. No, that is the floor. Is it? When we say us. go. Go. No. 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 I'm ready. OK, yeah, I've got it, OK. Ready, Leo? No, no I'll tell you when. I'll, I'll say go. OK. Go! Walk forwards. Walk forwards and put your... Hand out? Yeah. Down. Put your hand down, Leo. Uh, side, side step. step. Side step. He's going right. to... Right. right. Have right. I got the chair? Yeah. 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 Where am I? Right, Leo. You're standing at the top of some steps. Yeah. And then... Down the steps and to your left, there's a um, stained, glass window. stained glass window. Yeah. And then on the floor in front of that, there are lots of chasms and pathways through. OK. All right, but Leo, oh, hang on, this bat's going through as well now. All right, so if you'd like to come down the stairs. Do you, Do you think we should use the stardust? Yeah. 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 Of cure, can you can you can you sprinkle it out or something? Well, where, where, which part am I in the ledge or something? No, no, you're safe by about three. You're legs wasting legs. life force, dear. Yeah. Leo, use the sure. stardust. Yeah, use the stardust. Though. Nothing's happened, Leo. Nothing has happened. Oh, side step thing. left, Leo. You should go to the middle path, so. <laughs> There's nothing's happened, Leo. Shall I try it again? No, yeah. that... Yes. No, I don't reckon you should, Leo. No. You have a choice, and it's one you must take. That one. Yeah. We'll no, that I reckon one. that one there. The middle, right. That one. Yeah, yeah that all right. One there. Side okay. step left. Hurry up, Leo. And again, and again. OK, stop. Walk forward. Uh, side step slightly to your right, just a bit, and walk forward. Watch out for the back. Hurry up. Hurry up, Leo. Nice. Ooh. Ah. And how tragic. Without the gargoyle's instructions, you have chosen the wrong path and fallen at the last hurdle. But your performance deserves more than dismissal. Spellcasting. Unite. U N I T E. Leo, Simon, Matthew and James, the dungeon defeats you, yet the dungeon salutes you. For you have travelled furthest in this phase of the quest, and despite defeat, have become our worthy champions. Farewell, for now we learn if others may wrest that title from you. Enter, stranger. Aha, your name and direction, please. James Lucas from Ipswich. Well, you'll understand, James, that no one can walk these halls unguided. So call your advisors to us now. Philip, Pullock, Jamie, enter. Yes, such a convenient way to travel, isn't it? Who guides this dungeoneer? Philip Allnut from Ipswich. Pullock Chowdhury from Ipswich. Jamie Sparks, also from Ipswich. Well, let's hope you know what you're doing. Here, James, take this knapsack for food, and in a moment the helmet, but first, a final warning. Use your wits before you use your feet, and listen very carefully to everything you hear. All right, on with the helmet then, for now your friends become your eyes. Turn now, face the dungeon door, and take the first steps on your journey. Where am I? You're in a room with no visible means of exit. In front of you, there's a table with a die on it. Yeah, I can see it. OK. Come now, team. And don't you recognize an invitation when you see one? Toss the dice, James. It's the only way to learn your fate. A door, 
Three doorways have just appeared, and the shield hangs above one of them. Now, what door do you think we should go through? Go through the one with the shield, perhaps. Okay. We're going to guide you through the one with the shield above it. Okay? okay. Yeah. Now, can you make a half turn to your right, please? Walk forwards. Stop. Turn to your left. Walk forwards until I say stop. Stop. Side steps to your right. Stop. Walk, Walk forwards. Where am I? You're in a room with a door at the far end, and beside you there looks like a pool. Okay. Something appears to be stirring beneath the water. I shouldn't wait to find out what. James, quickly walk forwards. Stop. Side steps to your right. Quickly. Walk forward. You're in a room with a table in the centre, and there's a door in the east wall. Yeah, I can just about see the table. Could you move towards it, please? Yes. Clues to carry in a moment, team, but first, James needs food for energy. Can you move around the back of the table, please, so we can see what's on it? There's a bar of gold, a horn, a knife, and an orange. Put the orange in your knapsack. Hold your hand, thief. Nothing here may be taken before you have faced Golgara. Turn intruder and name yourself. James! Listen, small thing of flesh and bone. Three riddles have I and truth I seek. You must please me or the quest is denied you. Here is my first. Before the elephant, there walked a creature similar to, yet hairier by far than any who'd been Hannibal's great pet. Name it. Mammoth, we think. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? An Say answer. Mammoth. Woolly mammoth. Say woolly mammoth. A woolly mammoth. Truth accepted. Here is my second. Who owned the box which held all the evils of the world? That box which never should have been opened. Say Pandora. Pandora! Truth accepted. Here is my third. Nine goddesses there were in Greece of music, art, and rhyming peace. Now, tell me quick and answer true. What name called they this magic crew? Nymphs. Try nymphs. The nymphs. Falsehood. Muses was the truth I sought. Two is the score. Your quest is for the shield, but it will not defend you. The horn is of Elvandis. Use it only in dire need. The first step is the salute. Take that food, whatever you do, and then make your choice. Turn around. Take the orange. What do you think? Uh, shall I take the horn and the gold? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because the gold might be useful for bribing. Yeah. Now exit quickly. Turn around to your right. <laughs> Walk forwards. Stop. Stop. Turn to your right. right. Walk forwards. Right. Side, Side steps to your right. Walk Stop. forwards. Walk forwards. Where am I? You're in a room with three doors, and behind one of them, or in, or in one of them, is a skull. 
which door should we go? Press onwards, team. This dungeon is now allied to strange lands beneath the castle. You must journey through them to reach the second level. The middle one. Okay, James, walk forward till we say stop. Flee, James! This warrior is a behemoth and less than human! Hurry! Oh, run Hurry forward! forward. forward. Where am I? You're on a pathway between cliffs. He wants to go. There appear to be caves along the way. One there. There are three caves. One on your left and two in front of you. Mm -hmm. Which one should we go for? Mm. Try the nearest one first. One. Okay, can you see the path? No. You're wasting life force, team. Move forwards. But you must keep to the path. Okay, stop. Can you turn a little way to your left, please? Okay, walk forwards. Quickly. Stop. Side step to your left. Stick to the path, whatever you do. Keep going for... Stop. Uh, slightly to your right a bit. Walk forwards. Hurry, or the behemoth will be upon you. Stop. Turn to your right a bit. Left a bit, sorry. Walk forwards. Where am I? You're um, in an area where two cave entrances are in the walls. There's a waterfall in front of you. There's no escape! Sound the alarm, James! Sound the alarm! Blow the horn! Elvandes! The call is answered! <laughs> Quickly, young human! The thing cannot be destroyed, only damaged! Hurry! Come on this way! Walk forwards. Side steps to your left. Stop, walk forward. Stop, side steps to your left. Walk forwards. Where am I? You're in a room with a door in the north wall on your right, and a door in the north wall on your left. Well, you certainly took your time. However, now that you are here, you can stop worrying about the dooley and start explaining how you came by that elf horn you are carrying. Well, where did you find it? Tell her, James. On a table in the clue room. I see. Well, that's all well and good, but now it must be returned. You see, we of the fair folk are particular about those who call us. Though you carry the means, you haven't earned the right. So, the horn at once, please. There, that's better. Now, what is your name? James. Well, James, I am Velda, Keeper of the Gate and Warden of the Lower Marches. While you walk in my chambers, you will harm no living thing or answer to the Elfkin. Understand? Yes. Now, I wish you neither ill nor good, but you may have passage. Farewell. Walk forwards until I say stop. Stop. Side steps to your right. Stop. Walk forwards. Where am I? You're in what looks like a kitchen, and there's a table in the middle of the room with something sitting oh, at it. Oh, hello, dearie! <laughs> oh, I shouldn't stand there if I was you! Stop! 
Now I shouldn't stand there if I was you, dearie, because Festus has been known to get a bit playful with strangers. <laughs> Mostly he likes to play with their livers. <laughs> Shut up, Festus! Now I should pop right over here, dearie, and show old Mrs. Grimwong the token of your esteem, and that way you just might get through to level two. Of course, you could try and make a run for it, but that's not a very good idea, dearie, because then I'd have to get Festus to fetch you. And that's not very good, dearie, because he doesn't have a soft mouth, you see. He tends to bring people back in several pieces. <laughs> Get back, Festus! Now, dearie, come on, show old Mrs. G what you got. <sighs> Careful, team. This creature is Mrs. Grimwold, the ogre's wife. Anyone who can survive being married to an ogre has got to be considered dangerous. I've got some gold. Oh! Oh, that is nice, dearie. Very nice indeed. Yes. If there's more of this where this came from, old Festus will just have to chew on rocks, won't he? <laughs> Shut up, Festus! No, dearie. I shouldn't take any notice of him. That's just his way of showing pleasure. Well, off you go, dearie. And if there's more of this on your way back, don't forget, bring it to me. <laughs> off you go. <laughs> Which door shall we take him out of? A life force warning, you need food, team. We'll go, go to the table. To the table. Go walk to up. the table. I can see the table. Can you walk over to it? Take a bone. Ah, uh, they're bones, that's not food. Just dried bones. Really wants to exit from there. I can see a pie. Can you walk over towards it, James? Yes. Put it in your knapsack. Warning now, temporal disruption imminent. Okay, take side steps to your left till we say stop. Stop, now walk forwards. Oh, there it goes again. And it always happens just as things are getting interesting. Sorry, boys. It's into cold storage for you. And as for you, well, you'll just have to wait until the next temporal shift brings you back to us. I think you know when that will be. Join us again soon for Nightmare. And remember, sometimes the journey stops, but it never ends. It's a big weekend here on Challenge, where our hot nights of poker are getting even hotter. On Saturday night at 10.30, the Hollywood specials of the World Poker Tour continue, including this weekend Lou Diamond Phillips. Then on Sunday, a chance to follow the biggest poker game in history with the World Series of Poker 2003. But let's get back to Friday night now, and it's the brain buzz next. Just hit that red button and play along with Brucey. Remember, save your pennies. It's absolutely free to get interactive with us at Challenge. <laughs>